<laughs> the moment when I was told that I was going to be the flag, flag bearer for Paralympics GB was one of the most, I think, surreal moments ever. Uh, it's a massive honour. Uh, I was coming out to Rio, kind of hopefully just a bit kind of on the quiet and hopefully do my best after, after the London Games. And, um, and I can't believe that the, my fellow athletes have voted me to be the flag bearer. That makes it even more of a, an honour and a privilege than it would be anyway. So surreal. I hope I don't let anybody down. Going, coming out of the tunnel into the opening ceremony. I don't know if we're going to be crying, smiling, waving the flag, walking or rolling at the moment, but it's massive. I can only think that they voted for me as um, maybe the, my results uh, over the past uh, uh, four Paralympic Games. Uh, I love people. Uh, I'm quite a people person. I'm very sociable. I'm a bit cheeky and a bit different as well, which sometimes can go towards you or against you. So, uh, But they have, and I've got to do the best job that I can do to uh, make them proud uh, as we, as we uh, take what I feel is the best team in the world uh, into that opening ceremony and into the games. Yeah, uh, I'm going to be realistic about my um, kind of competing over the next uh, couple of weeks. Uh, I bought a horse that's never been to the Paralympic Games. Uh, he's called Zeon. I love him to bits. He usually always does his best. And if I come out with a medal of any colour, I'll be really, really happy uh, with that result. Okay, okay. Let's do